Well, the West Ohio Food Bank is in. We're going to learn about an eclipse party and what they were doing in Washington, D.C. last week. Joining us today, he is the Communications and Public Relations Manager, Jason Aldridge. And thanks for coming today. Thanks, Holly, for having us. All right, first of all, let's talk about your trip to D.C. Uh, you and Tommy went. Why did you go to D.C.? What was the importance of that? So we went as part of what was called a fly-in, and that was organized by the national organization that we belong to, which is Feeding America, and then our Ohio Association based in Columbus that covers all of the 12 or 13 food banks that are here in Ohio. They then did a great job of organizing meetings with our representatives um, in both the House and Senate side. So we were there to push for a vote on a strong farm bill Folks may not realize when they hear the term farm bill, it's just not about farms. <laughs> it's very important to how food banks operate. And what it does is it gets us funding for specific programs. Um, we get a lot of our stuff through the United States Department of Agriculture. We also have, of course, SNAP benefits, TFAP, WIC, uh, other kids' programs like school breakfast, lunches, snack pack programs, and our CSFP program. That's the senior box program mm -hmm. where those 60 and older that meet a income requirement and get a food box every month from us. Wow, that is a lot of your programs that really count on that. So were you trying to get extra money or just making sure they realize, hey, you're feeding a lot of people right now and, you know, things are not getting better right this moment? Yeah, really, I mean, anywhere they can, you know, raise the funding for that would be great. But the big push was just to keep it you know, in there. Don't cut or drop anything out of the current farm bill. And it sounds like it is on the way uh, to finally being finalized and passed. Again, they do this every six years. I think they actually were supposed to pass it last fall, but it got kind of kicked down the road a little bit. So <laughs> we're hoping again for a strong farm bill. Right. Yeah, exactly. Wow. That is so important. So that was yeah. good that you, it was worthwhile to make that trip and get eye contact, at least with the reps or, you know, their delegates or whatever, right? Yeah. And the second time for me, I went back in September as well so second time for me in in six months here to kind of you know make sure that they hear us mm -hmm. all right well hopefully they did yeah. okay so everyone is pumped up about the solar eclipse and you guys got something too you got a lot of parking so tell us about your uh, solar eclipse viewing party yeah I think everybody knows there's something coming on Monday April 8th and we're shining a light on hunger is what we're calling it so we're gonna basically open up our lot our gates will probably open around noon and then stay open until they fill up we're guessing maybe maybe probably about a hundred cars we can fit back there comfortably. And again, we're just asking for a donation of $10. What you'll get with that is a drink ticket, a snack ticket, a door prize entry, and a pair of the ISO certified Eclipse viewing glasses, complete with our logo on it, of course. <laughs> uh, we're gonna be offering tours that day as well, you know, kind of leading right up to the event when it happens. Just wanna remind folks too, though, that our services will not be provided that day. So technically we will be closed mm -hmm. for business and things like that. But again, our lot is gonna open to shine a light on hunger and you can go to wofb.org for more information. I think that's neat that you, tours are possible because yep. I, I think people don't understand your huge operation and what all you deal with. Yeah, that's again another highlight of the day uh, while they're waiting around for the eclipse to happen. Uh, you can get uh, get a tour of, of what we do and what we're all about and actually see it up close and personal. All right, so of course that's April 8th and you get some stuff for your donation. Thank you very much, Jason, for coming today. Thank you, Holly. All right, don't go away. New Edition continues in a moment.